there it is guys it is finally out and available for purchase on the apex site the apex slide for the hellcat pro now before we get started i want to just take a couple minutes and say a couple of things first and foremost big shout out and thank you to my friends over at optics planet for supporting the channel the way that you guys do you know i don't care what anybody says this economy sucks and we all need to try to save some money here and there wherever we can my first stop with saving money is going to be my accessories, my lights, lasers, gizmos, doodads, and whatchamacallits. I am always stopping at Optics Planet first before anywhere else. Not only do they have a great selection, but they also have a great price, an even better price when you use 360TS at checkout. Hey, you guys want to hear a secret? If you want to save a little bit of money at Apex, use that 360TS promo code at checkout. I don't care what you buy, triggers, slides, sick ass nunchucks, whatever you want. Just make sure you're not paying full price because nobody likes that. Next on my list is you guys, not just the Patreons because we all know you guys are pretty friggin' cool, but everybody who interacts with the content, whether you are watching, uh, liking, subscribing, sharing, leaving comments, all of those things help f make this content harder for YouTube to suppress it. For those of you watching on Rumble, I got news for you. Rumble isn't much better. They're not putting two-way content in front of people the way that we would expect that they would. The way that this channel survives is by you guys interacting with it. So get down there, leave a comment, hit the like button, help me out a little bit. Now that we've got that stuff out of the way, this right here is the final release version of the Apex slide for the Hellcat Pro. A lot of you know that Apex sent me one of these earlier this year, several months ago, to test out, and I really liked it. Between then and now, what they have done is added slots for porting, and they've also went ahead and released this ported barrel. Other than that, everything else is the same. So let's just do a quick overview for people who haven't already heard about this Apex slide. They do have two versions of this slide available. This, of course, is the honeycomb version. Um, I actually prefer this over uh, the standard version. The honeycomb actually makes for a really good grip when it comes to like an alternative for slide serrations. I'm actually surprised at how much grip that I get with that honeycomb uh, versus your standard slide serrations. So I am really happy with that. The slide comes with uh, these, I believe they're XS night sights. They are tritium inserts. You have blacked out rear basically and the orange dot high vis front. I kind of like that combo. Generally speaking, when it comes to iron sights, I'm more of a fiber optic kind of guy versus night sights. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of night sights. I, I always have a light on my gun, so don't really need them but i think that this combination the high vis in the front and the blacked out rear pops really well now obviously i have the hollow sun 407k on here this one is the green dot version and i i basically just rely on my red dot with this slide one of the big pros is that the slide is milled for a direct fit for that k series of hollow sun optics now, real quick, before anybody asks about co-witnessing, um, I don't really focus on co-witnessing. I trust my optic. If my optic goes down, uh, muscle memory is going to take care of the rest. A lot of times when I come out here and I do some practice shooting, I will actually remove the battery from my optic so that I can simulate it going down. And if you are dry firing regularly, if you are live firing regularly, you would be surprised at how accurate you can actually be without having any sight system at all. That being said, the co-witness of these sights with the hollow sun on there, it's probably not going to be what you guys are looking for, you guys that are hardcore co-witness fans. The sights could be just a little bit taller, but at the end of the day, you're still going to be able to use them just maybe not as clearly as you would hope. In the packaging for the slide, it is going to come with the screws that are the right length for this optic with this slide. So you won't have to do any guesswork as to, 
you know, what screws you need, what length you need. They're going to be in the packaging. You'll be all set when it comes in. The other thing to note with that is that this is a stripped slide. You're going to have to take your old slide and you're going to have to take the back plate, your striker, you're going to have to take your uh, extractor, you're going to have to take all those things off of your slide and add them to this one. Then after that, it's going to be totally functional. Now, Apex does have most of those parts available on their site. I think the one thing that I haven't been able to find or source is the... Uh, uh, the, the safety plunger on the bottom side of the slide. I can't find anybody that carries one of those. Um, I'll have to do some more digging and kind of reaching out to different companies and, and seeing if anybody makes one. Here's the big news though. They have cut slots in the slide for the ported barrel that Apex is now producing. So here's what's happened. Uh, Springfield went ahead and released a version of this gun, the Hellcat Pro Comp, which... It's not comped. I don't know why they're calling it that. It's a ported gun. Um, so Springfield released this and everybody kind of went crazy for it. Uh, as you guys know, I do have a couple of other Hellcat Pros that are ported. Uh, so what Apex did was Apex revised this slide with the slots for the porting. They released a barrel that's ported as well. Today, we're going to function test the port on this and just kind of see how it runs. I have a stock barrel still that hasn't been cut. I almost sent it off recently to have it ported. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't because now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a couple mags through that stock barrel just to kind of remember how it handles. And then I'm gonna swap back over to this ported barrel and we're gonna see how that handles and then we're gonna talk about it. The stock barrel isn't horrible. I have a lot of features on this gun that help mitigate the recoil. I have the light on the front, which gives me a little bit of weight and a little bit of balance. Um, I am using the Go Gun USA gas pedal, which also helps. I have the Hogue uh, beaver tail grip on here and the Floyd's Custom magwell. All of these things help me with controlling the gun and giving me better mitigation of recoil. So even though the stock barrel is, generally speaking, a little bit snappy, uh, it's still controllable. It's not horrible. Even with my carpal tunnel being, you know, balls deep in a flare up right now, it's not horrible. When we swap over to that ported barrel, a couple of things happen. Uh, there is noticeably less recoil with the ported barrel versus the stock, uh, but also, it does increase the sound profile. It is much louder. Now, you can't get an accurate assessment of volume here where I'm at. Of course, I have trees behind me, yes, but that entire direction all the way around uh, is a deep rock wall. I'm basically sitting in the middle of a half bowl of rocks. So. There's a lot of echo going on. Everything that happens here in this gravel pit is extremely loud. Ported guns are great for self-defense. Um, you're able to stay on target a lot better because you're getting less recoil. Um, I'm not a big fan of using a ported gun for my at-home home defense gun. I mean, sure, you're going to protect your life with that gun. That's cool but you're probably gonna lose your hearing for quite some time because they are considerably louder. That's just something to keep in mind. The porting on this Apex barrel does an amazing job at smoothing out the recoil impulses of the Hellcat Pro. I really do like the design. Now, I didn't bring anything to measure that recoil today. I'm not going to get into which is better, uh, this or, or any of my other ported versions Right now, I have a video coming up that is going to be this versus uh, three or four different options for recoil mitigation. Uh, we'll get into that uh, probably in another month or so. But I can tell you this, when it comes to the ported barrel that Apex is producing, it handles phenomenally well. Apex makes some of the highest quality barrels on the market. I have one of their five inch barrels for my uh, M&P competitor. Uh, 
honestly, they are accurate, they are reliable, they're durable. You can't go wrong with an Apex barrel. So anybody that is nervous about kind of changing over from a stock barrel to an Apex, just put that stuff to rest. They make incredible products. I know there's a lot of apprehension about these slides out there over the price point, and I get it, they're not cheap. Here's the thing, this setup isn't gonna be for everybody, I realize that. Um, they are a little on the expensive side, definitely less when you use that promo code, but these slides are for the Hellcat Pro enthusiasts, those people who absolutely love this platform and are willing to upgrade it to its absolute maximum potential. Now these guns, the Hellcat Pros, as a stock firearm with no upgrades, no additions, they're great guns, they're great carry guns, great concealment guns. And I'm not necessarily saying that you have to put all this stuff on your Hellcat Pro in order to make it good. It's already good. The thing is though, is adding all the things I've added have made this gun great. They've elevated it to what I believe its peak performance is. If you, like me, absolutely friggin' love this Hellcat Pro platform, I would say the Apex slide is certainly worth looking at. It's worth the consideration. Whether or not you wanna spend the money is at the end of the day gonna be you know, between you and your accountant, but uh, I like it, I really do. Now here in the near future, we are going to be doing that recoil comparison. Uh, I have two other ported slides, but I'm considering buying another Hellcat Pro, one of the comp models, as soon as I can get one here in my mag restricted state. Um, I'm gonna also do some work with a couple of different comps. It's gonna be a long, boring video, but we are going to get down to the nitty gritty of what works best for recoil mitigation on these guns. That's gonna be it for today, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Remember, hit those buttons down below, leave a comment. Uh, as always, I'll see you back here real soon.